lightning is dangerous. It's five times hotter than the sun. It can stop your heart dead. And it can turn this into this. Well, how dangerous is it? Well, I am gonna find out. I'm gonna delve inside of lightning to find out how it works and show you how dangerous it can be. But first, what even is lightning? Lightning is caused by static electricity. Within a thundercloud way up in the sky, there are many small bits of ice. When these bits of ice collide, they create electrical charges, so positives and negatives. And this happens in a very specific way. The positive charges form at the top of the cloud and the negative charges form at the bottom. And since opposites attract, that causes a positive charge to build up on the ground beneath the cloud. The charge coming up from these points eventually connects with the charge reaching down from the clouds and zap, lightning strikes. Now, static electricity isn't just about lightning. We can actually recreate the exact same phenomena to levitate things. Yep, sounds weird, but let me show you. Imagine this balloon is the storm cloud, and that means it's gonna have negatively charged particles at the bottom of it. And we can get those negatively charged particles by rubbing it on my hair like this. Now what's happening here is the negatively charged particles from my hair are actually moving onto the balloon to make that negatively charged. And then the surface of the table is like the ground. And if we sprinkle the pepper on the ground, this is gonna act like our positively charged particles. Run the negatively charged balloon over the positively charged ground, and this is what happens. That's quite cool. You can see it's leaping up off the, that's better than I thought, look at that. And you can see here how those charged particles are interacting with each other. And that is the basis of how lightning is formed. And you can use the science behind this demonstration to do some other really quite cool things. You can use it to bend water and magically move objects. That's quite cool. And all of these are things you can do at home. But in the meantime, I think it's time for some lightning fast facts. Did you know that lightning doesn't always strike downwards? It can strike upwards as well. Yes, it might go against what you think happens, but if you slow down the footage of some lightning strikes, you can actually see it rising upwards. Lightning doesn't even need the ground to strike. Sometimes the charge imbalances are just so that it can actually cause lightning to strike within the cloud itself. The longest web of lightning to date, that sort of interconnected strikes, has been, wait for it, 800 kilometers long. So long that it stretched across three states in the US. That's just one web. And one thing that you might not know is that mysterious sound of thunder. That is actually the sound that lightning makes. So if you hear thunder, then lightning is not far away. Now, this is all interesting stuff, but what we really want to know is how dangerous is it? And the answer to that question is very. If you get struck by lightning, this electric current travels through your body. And as it does so, it can cause burns and also cause your heart to stop. And it's not just this electric current itself that makes lightning dangerous. It is also extremely hot. Lightning can heat the air around it to temperatures of over 30,000 degrees Celsius. To put that into perspective, lightning is about the width of your thumb, but five times hotter than the surface of the sun. And if all that wasn't dangerous enough, the intense heat from lightning can ignite flammable objects and lead to one more threat, fire. And I can show you just how dangerous that can be by creating my own lightning strike to set something on fire. Now, needless to say, this is not something you should try at home. And when you see the size of the fireball, you will understand why. Now, we're going to create the mini lightning strike using this Van de Graaff generator machine. And this works by making one of my cables get a positive charge and the other get a negative charge. So when I hold them together, we get mini lightning. 
and we can turn the lights down to see this a little bit better. To use that lightning strike to set something on fire, I'm going to need my flammable tree. <laughs> now, art is not my strong point, um, so it might not look too much like a tree. I've tried my best, um, but trust me, it is very flammable. And I'm going to attach one of my leads on to the trunk. And then, with my heat proof glove on, touch the other onto one of the branches. What's happening here is that it's the heat from our lightning that is causing our rather special tree to catch fire and send it up in flames. And this is very similar to what happens with real lightning when it strikes a house or a tree. Okay, so we've established that lightning is dangerous, but can we actually survive it? Well, luckily for all of us, the answer is yes. Now, the best way to survive a strike is obviously to avoid getting struck altogether. Now, luckily for us, it is incredibly rare to be struck by lightning. The chances of being hit by lightning are one in 500,000, but you still don't want to be that one. So one neat tip is if you do find yourself outside during a lightning storm and then you see lightning, start counting to 30. Now, if you hear the thunder before you reach 30, that means the lightning is close. So you need to get yourself indoors. If you can't get indoors, then get yourself to low ground. You want to avoid things like trees and pylons because they're high up and pointy, so we'll be struck first by the lightning. Okay, so say all of this fails and you find yourself getting struck by lightning. Can you survive? Yes. Despite the dangers, the survival rate of getting struck by lightning is incredibly high. 90% of people who get struck end up surviving. The record for getting struck by lightning the most number of times is claimed by a US park ranger, Roy Sullivan, who was said to have survived lightning strikes seven times. Seven times? He's like the luckiest, unluckiest man ever. So lightning is dangerous, but it is also mysterious. There's lots of things that we still don't know about how it works. But should we be worried about something that is incredibly unlikely to affect us? Well, the more we know about it, then the more we can avoid the risks. And so we can just relax, sit back, and be a bystander to nature's spectacular show. 